Live from 42nd Street in New York City, you're watching Pink's Morning News. Over 40 million Americans have visited online dating sites at one time or another. It's approximately half of the country's single population. And of course, while there are a lot of love stories, there are also a lot of horror story, oh, stories. Joining me here this morning is cyber dating expert Julie Spira. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. So we, we know about the love stories, but there's, a, there's an element of all of this with regard to being safe and with so many singles visiting these sites let's talk about it first of all um, people need to be smart when they visit online dating sites it's a terrific way to meet somebody when your friends aren't fixing you up anymore but you don't know who's behind that computer screen you do not right there no. the, the keyboard makes it safe all right so first of all you say never give out your last name when meeting somebody for the first time why is that I think it's important to protect your identity and if you give out your last name it might be easy for someone to find out financial information about you and information let's say they do a very extensive Google search or a background search it's too much too soon okay next thing you say do not give out your address yes I say don't give out your address or get picked up at your home mm -hmm. uh, one of the reasons is because if the date doesn't go well you don't want somebody showing up on your doorstep absolutely all right your next tip is uh, use the buddy system I love the buddy system. I think it's really important to let a friend know where you're going and to actually even tell them what the screen name is of the person that you're meeting from the online dating site. So what do, you, do you let them know ahead of time or what do you do? You let them know ahead of time and you say, I'm going to such and such cafe for a lunch at 1230 with, you know, dark eyes one, two, three, and that I met on such and such site. And then this way, if for some reason, you know, something goes wrong, they know who you're meeting. Totally makes sense. All right, you mentioned financial information. Let's go over that again. Why should you not give that out? Is there something with financial information that, that could uh, have some, give somebody more information, I guess? Well, I think that, you know, you never know if somebody does have ulterior motives. You hope that people are, you know, have very good intentions and sure. that they're interested in really meeting somebody special. But if you give out your financial information and somebody is a gold digger or mm -hmm. they find out that you have some money or you're about to get a huge inheritance. Not a might, good thing. Not a good thing. They might want to push that relationship up fast before really getting to know you. Stick around for the wrong reasons are you say always meet in a public place do people go to private places to meet sometimes it would make sense to me public only it would make sense but you'd be surprised sometimes a man will be romantic on the phone and romantic in his emails and say why don't you come over and I'll cook you a nice home-cooked meal then you're in somebody's home that you've never met before and if you've had too much to drink you might get yourself in trouble all right thanks so much with so many Americans online online dating it makes sense to have some tips I appreciate you joining us thank you and of course for more of Julia's cyber dating tips meet us on the web at WPIX.com you'll find them all right there Suki Steve we'll send it back over to you Tam's a great information thank mm -hmm. you